This short instructional video will guide you through the steps of applying the I Need MD ECG 12 lead glove to the patient. One of the main benefits of this patented glove is the easy application process. Prior to applying the glove, the patient should be prepped. The chest should be cleaned free of oil, lotion, and powder with any excessive hair removed. If hair cannot be removed, then add ECG electro jelly over the glove electrodes before applying the glove to the chest. The patient should be lying down with his legs straight and his arms to the side. The first step is to pull the, and remove the white release liner that covers the electrodes from the palm side of the glove. Next, you will need to place your right hand into the glove. When placing your right hand into the glove, your thumb is to protrude through the hole over the area marked sternum, along with the arrow signs in the glove. Next step, align the glove to the center of the chest so the thumb aligns over the sternum and between the right and left breasts. Refer to the arrows on the glove for location. The black connector should be pointing directly down. After the glove is placed properly to the chest, press electrodes firmly, remove your right hand from the glove. Placing both hands over the glove, press down on the glove, both on the right and left side of the glove. Applying the three extendable electrodes. Although the order is not important, we will begin by lifting the tab noted RA and pull away from the glove. Remove the white release liner covering the electrode and place the electrode below the right collarbone. Repeat this process for the extendable electrode labeled LA and place it below the left collarbone. Repeat the process for the extendable electrode labeled LL and fully extend it to the lower left rib cage. The next step is to press down on all the electrodes making sure you have good contact with the skin. There are 10 locations. Connect the glove to the I Need MD cable until the glove and the cable are latched. Place other end of the cable, the DB15, into the QRS card. The other end of the QRS card should be connected to a jumper cable. The telephone jack end of the cable should be plugged into the QRS card and the USB cable should be plugged into the computer. To view and capture the ECG, open the QRS icon. Select Resting ECG from the toolbar. Within the Resting ECG window, select OK. Enter the patient's information and view the ECG. Verify that the signal is seen for all areas, V1 through V6 and 1, 2, and 3. If signal is not seen in all areas, press each electrode firmly to the chest again once signal is seen on all areas. Select OK at the lower right-hand corner of the computer screen. Enter blood pressure and select OK. If blood pressure is not known, select Cancel. View of ECG will appear on the computer screen and will be captured. To view the patient's results, select the summary icon from the toolbar above. For additional information on the 12 lead I Need MD glove, visit www.ineedmd.com.